Hi, Gemini. Thank you so much for coming to your monthly love reading. Um, it should resonate Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross watchers, you already know what the deal is. It can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. With that being said, let's just hop into the reading. Okay. So the first question is, what's the overall energy for love and romance for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Justice. Okay, there's some Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, what's Gemini's? Sadies, mm, look at this. So this is our partner's energy. Hello, can I come in and take a seat somewhere? I don't know. Possibly no. Um. All right. How does how does Gemini feel about their person of interest? How does Gemini feel about their person of interest? Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Yes. Oh, okay. Let's talk about your partner. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, heavy Taurus. It's funny because Leo had a lot of Taurus too. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or even possibly a Leo as well. Because the King of Pentacles to me is also Leo. Um, okay. What is the current situation between Gemini and their person of interest romantically? King of Cups. I'm going to be honest. Got a lot of, uh, we've got two kings here. So this is going to be, I'm, I'm kind of curious. All right. And what's the best potential outcome here for Gemini and their person of interest romantically? Best potential outcome here for Gemini and their person of interest romantically. Express your love. Ew, so cute. All right. First of all, I just want to say this. And there's a reason I'm saying this. Because of the cards that I was shuffling when I was kind of like meditating on the information. There's somebody here, um, and you can see there's deception at the bottom. Your partner, I feel like, or you, somebody's not being honest here with how they feel. Somebody's like really hiding the fact that they really fuck with that person or that they really like that person. And I don't know if it's us or I don't know if it's them. Um, but there's a heavy sense of like somebody really trying to cover up their emotions. Like it's, 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 it's almost like this person is coming across. Um, if somebody tried to have like a really deep conversation, like somebody shut that shit down because I then have heart to heart conversations with separation. And I think that I feel like there was something weird that happened and I feel like it had to do with um, something that was said. And it's interesting because, um, and I feel like it's, it's has something to do with deception, but it's, it's pertaining to how somebody feels like emotionally. I didn't do this for anyone else. Sorry about that. I don't know why this makes me feel like this, but then, you know, you have separation with heart to heart conversation. So for me, it's almost like there was a heart to heart, some type of either separation, but I feel like there was a conversation that was had that was, that was, um, created a level of separation. And I feel like it had to do with, you guys would never believe like the same number legit just called me like six times in a row. And every single time they called it, like stopped the recording. So, um, and mind you, I have my do not disturb on, so you already know how many times somebody had to call. Um, all right. I don't know. I just feel like there's something here that had to do with, with a very intimate conversation between you and your partner, either about separation, not being with one another, not being able to see one another. And I feel like somebody was pretending like they were very unemotional. Like this card to me, deception, this feels very like unemotional. Right? Or is that just me? I don't know. Um, the other thing I want to say is this. I feel like you and this person, even if you've known each other for a period of time, I feel like you're still in the process of getting to know one another. Especially, well, one, especially if you're in a new situation. But even older situations, like, I feel like this time period is really, like, forcing different things. Like, for Gemini, like, I feel like for us... It's, um, 
maybe has something to do with like, you feel like a very insane chemistry, like you equal that person, where I feel like for them, they probably view you as highly stable, which is shocking because Gemini is not, I mean, if you think of stable, you're not like, hey, they're a Gemini, right? <laughs> they're either a Taurus or a Capricorn or a Virgo. Any earth signs are highly stable. Um, but it's it's just interesting. I feel like you give this person a sense of security. However, they're just not ready to tell you how they feel. Um, okay. Look, right as I said that, the Seven of Swords. That's me, somebody not telling the truth. That's me. That's For me, that's somebody that's saying enough but not everything right and it's almost like breadcrumbing so i know what i'm saying is right to you guys all right we have justice as our overall energy for love and romance with the knight of pentacles okay so virgo or gemini why are you showing me this combo why are you showing me this combo for the overall energy with the lovers yes gemini here's the thing I feel like something that we've waited for for a period of time, I feel like that's going to come to an end. Things are going to be more balanced out here with like the weight and the movement. You see, it's very interesting how this comes, comes out like that. There's a level of balance between something solid and then also something that's emotionally fulfilling. Because for some reason, I feel like when somebody is too together or too solid, it becomes boring for us. And I know that sounds really fucked up and I know that that sounds bad, but it's true. If something is too consistent and there's not enough of an emotional um, pull or a logical pull towards that person, it becomes boring. It works, but it's like, you feel like you're dead inside. Where I feel like now you're having both. If somebody was overly, you know, um, emotional and like too emotional, they're starting to rein it in. Like, I feel like this month there is a lot of balance. That's just my um, personal opinion. This also can be that you have two offers coming in, which is crazy because in Gemini's singles reading, Gemini also, ha uh, the singles had two offers as well. Because how would Gemini feel about this? How would Gemini feel about this? The tower. You'd be like, oh shit. What's the energy? Time. What's the energy of this tower for Gemini? What's the energy for how they feel? Okay. The world reverse. What caused the tower? Moment for Gemini. The Fool, Pisces, Aquarius. I think that you realize that something that you thought put to bed here, something that you possibly ended, maybe with a Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, or Taurus, um, even Capricorn possibly, but, and they can have like Moon, moon or venus i don't really pick up on a lot of rising sometimes but they realize like somebody's <laughs> something from the past is coming back around here it, it's it, there's not there there's not closure and it can be with this fool down here it can be with like that one person that makes you act like you have no common sense um because how you feel about this is the four of wands it's almost, and that's Aries, right? Venus and Aries. It's, it's interesting because there's a release and there's happiness. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. There's something here that, that is, like I said, it's a release and then there's, there's a level of happiness. There's something that physically has to be done here, I feel like, for your energy. It's like letting go or even just say like physically picking up and moving. Like some of you may physically be moving. Um, but it's very interesting how this looks. I feel like you're going to be happy about what's going on. That's, that's my personal opinion. 
I think it's going to be shocking because things are what you felt like was stuck. I think things are going to start moving much quicker. And I think somebody's getting ready to take a chance when it comes to love. Look, right as I said that, abundance, yes, love, and paradise. That is the energy. Like, that is, that is Gemini's energy. Hello, I, I'm ready for it. It's a level of happiness. It's also expansion. Makes sense because we have Sag here as well. Um, but it's just, you feel very good. I feel like for those of you guys that have done the right thing and put out, put out the right energy, that's all coming back to you this month. This month in June, I feel like, which is our time. But also, too, there's a lot of love here and there's a lot of happiness. Um, this even may be seeing somebody that you haven't been able to see for a period of time. But there's something big going on here. Okay. Gemini's partner is the King of Pentacles. Um, why, are, why is Gemini's person of interest coming up as a King of Pentacles? They may be older than you. Moon. Cancer or Pisces. Why are you showing me the moon? With the Ace of Swords. For some of you guys, I don't think that you're talking to this person or you may not even know this person. Can you remember, what, what, what do you want me to tell them with this? Page of Sword, Ace of Wands. <sighs> All right. See how the moon is here? It's funny because the moon on other typical tarot cards, the moon, this pathway usually leads to the tower moment, right? So over here, how you felt about the situation was the tower moment. And it's interesting because I feel like there's something very unexpected coming. And I don't think that anyone is ready for this. I don't think Gemini, like as fucking weird as we are, and we can think of all these crazy ass things. I don't think we're ready for this. This is something we don't see coming, but this person's been planning for a period of time. They've been thinking about it. It's been in their head. What, how does Gemini, what, or, hmm. some of you definitely dealing with the Pisces, Eight of Cups wanted to come through. What do you, what's the last message? Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands. You've been, you've been in your head about this person, but this person's also been in their head about you. Possibly um, an Aquarius or again, a Leo. What's the energy of this King of Swords? Now we have three fucking Kings here. Jesus. King of Swords. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like this is somebody that you guys have been talking to for a long time. I feel like, again, King of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is uh, Taurus. I think it's, what was it? Seven of Pentacles, Saturn and Taurus. But this is about being very disciplined and organized and extremely cautious with how this person moves forward. Remember how I said somebody wasn't expressing their feelings? I feel like it's this King of Swords. But also, too, um, this may be somebody that has money issues or problems or may even possibly be in debt. But aside from that, this person has taken their time to come to some type of decision before they're willing to offer this last pentacle to make this eight, right? There's been a period of time and I also feel like a period of control. One card for their energy. New phase, rekindling, renew, transformation, growth, the phoenix. Yeah, there's something different going on. Because see, here, here's what's going to happen. There's going to come to a period of time for you or for this person where talking isn't enough, right? And they have to physically be in front of you. I feel like that's what's going to happen here with this person. This person has been taking their sweet ass time to make whatever type of decision 
and the reality is they're hiding how much they're in their head about what to do, what next action to take, how to go about this. And because of that, they're coming across as this King of Swords, which is somewhat cold, right? There's not a lot of emotions here. And they're coming across as this King of Swords because they don't have enough to offer you right now, number one. Number two, or they don't feel like they can, even though they really can. Or number two, they, they, it, it took them a long time to come to the decision to finally make you some type of offer here. But there's something weird going on here where this person who's been hiding, like this is a person that's, that's been hiding their feelings. Like this is a person that, um, for instance, Gemini, if you say, hey, I love you, this is a person that will go quiet. Even though you know that they love your ass too, right? It's like that. It's like that type of energy. That's what they're coming up with. However, this person is changing. It's interesting because they're going through a new phase, and I feel like it's because they're getting to know you better. And for some reason, you are coming across as more stable to them. How you feel about it, Ace of Pentacles? It's like, give me my Pentacle, Queen of Pentacles. You feel like that's it for you, right? Queen of Pentacles to me, that's Capricorn Cancer, but that's the wife. You wife the, king, the Queen of Pentacles. Because here's the thing. It's also coming across too that you've been more than patient, I feel like, with this person. You've waited. And now it's like, I just need that one offer. Queen of Cups, Nine of Wands. How does Gemini, how does Gemini feel about this? How does Gemini feel about this? Waiting. It's just waiting. It's a waiting game. Some of you dealing with an Aries or a Sag. What do you, what do you want me to tell them about the two queens? Because I know somebody's going to ask. The Emperor. I mean, that can mean a multitude of things. That can actually be physically an Aries or a Scorpio that has more than one person that they're dealing with and you're waiting for them to finally make you an offer so that you know where you stand. Or this can be the Queen of Cups, which is somebody that's very loving and caring, finally moving into a place where they have a level of significance. I mean, it can mean, it can mean different things to different people. However... I also feel like the emperor has to be very balanced. To me, again, you have the pentacles and you have the cups. Like that's, there's a level of balance here now. It's the same thing that they're showing us over here. It's here too. Remember, um, knight of pentacles, knight of cups. Queen of pentacles, queen of cups. It's having both. How does Gemini feel about this? How does Gemini feel about this? Okay. Um, for some, it's a healing heart. For some of us, it, it's a level of healing that happens, I feel like. This month, having something be so balanced. But then also, too, I think that for us, because we tend to fixate, we think about like the craziest thing and then we work our way down. I feel like healing heart and with the dragonfly, this is about finding something out or something coming to light that's creating a level of change and helping somebody heal. But for me, because it's the dragonfly, that's a very light energy. So yeah, I, I feel like there is a level of healing that happens and it may be somebody says, I'm sorry. Or maybe somebody offers you that one thing. This person is fine. You feel like if they offer you that one thing, this will solve everything. There's something here to that. <clears throat> now we have the King of Cups as our current situation. So that's interesting. With the Six of Wands. What do you want me to tell Gemini about this? With Strength. For some of you guys, um, definitely a Leo is after that ass. Even if you are dealing with a Scorpio or um, a Cancer or a Pisces.
I also feel like this. I feel like somebody's trying to be very patient in order to give somebody the ability to make the move on their own to change something. Empress. Yeah, there's an energy behind this of somebody kind of just sitting back, right? Like these two are sitting back chilling and she's like, she's, she's coming through, right? And I feel like, and this is Jupiter and Leo too. And this is coming from the, this is coming from how you feel about that person. That's what it looks like. I feel like Gemini, somebody is going to have a confidence booster, honestly. And I think it's going to, um, something here about somebody taking charge. How does Gemini feel about this? I feel like somebody has gone back and forth and now finally somebody's made up their mind and they're going forward with it. That's the situation. Even talks of seeing somebody traveling, those kind of things. Six of swords, Mercury and Aquarius. I also feel like something is said here to kind of stir the pot because Six of Swords, Mercury, and Aquarius, sometimes they come through and like to stir shit up. You know what I mean? Just to see what happens. Um, however, it's a very quiet way of stirring things up. And it's almost like getting this person to finally see things in your eye, right? And you can see here, there's a lot of like similarities, Six of Swords, Six of Wands. Say what you mean, do what you say. Like, there's something here about this energy that I feel like, Gemini, you have right now, or you're going to have, that's going to make people come towards you. How does Gemini feel about this? How does Gemini feel about this? Ace of Cups. See, what's happening is, this person over here who tried to play um, the, hey, like, I have no emotions... What happens is I think you get tired of being overly emotional and you shut it down to Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, they you come to me. I don't come to you. And you better bring something if you're offering. That's what I think here. Regardless if you're a man or a woman, it's energy, right? However, over here, you adopt more of this Queen of Pentacles energy. And I feel like what's happening is you're now in alignment where this person is forced to make an emotional plea, number one. Number two, they also have to take a level of action on what they said over here. And whatever is said here, because there is a weird conversation, whatever is said here, that's what forces this person to move forward. That's what makes this person tired of waiting. Here's what's interesting, though. So your outcome is express your love, which is hella crazy because I just honestly wasn't paying attention to this. So again, there, they do say something to you. There is a large expression of what's honestly in their heart, which I think is pretty fucking fantastic. Um, because again, look at this. I'm going to show you this and then we'll finish the rest on Vimeo. You have masks. Remember how I kept saying there's something about a mask, um, not showing your true feelings, hiding, personifying, and then twin flames. See, this person is hiding. That's how I feel. They're hiding their true feelings about you. And that's what's causing this level of frustration. You know, that's like your treat yourself, like um, the movement on Parks and Recs, right? It's like, no, we ain't moving player. You come to us. And, and I feel like what's being forced is this person's being forced to step up and stop being such a, you know, a Nancy. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.